is there any I take it then that you're going to say there's no substance either on the planned disruptions of uh, the State of the Nation address as part of, I guess, him, the reports go, him suggesting that should he not be, um, I guess, uh, what, taken back to the ANC, the disruptions in Parliament, is, this, is there some kind of deal going on in the background to try and have Julius back in the party so that all of these things that the EFF plans to do are basically thwarted. I think if there are any plans uh, in the background, it's definitely not happening with the EFF being part of it. Uh, the president of the Economic Freedom Fighters is not in any background discussions whatsoever uh, to rejoin the ANC. He said himself that uh, the ANC is a dying horse. He said that it was, it's not going to last long. So. It makes no sense for him to, uh, to want to go back to a dying point, so to speak. Um, but no, uh, and, 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 and the, the motivations against these allegations, uh, they, they, they're weak. They, there's no reason why the president of the, AF, the EFF would want to go to the ANC because he wants to be exonerated from a court case. Right. Um, yeah, so no, no, no substance. Let, let, let's, let's go to the incident with the car, then, yeah. the Golf GTI. What is the story there, from what you guys know? We bought the car. The EFF bought the car. Um, it belongs to the EFF. It's registered under the assets of the EFF. Uh, the reports even say um, the transaction of uh, purchasing the car happened over the counter at a bank from an EFF account. The the, as the article also says, uh, the reference to that transaction is EFFGTI, and the reference to the seller is Vehicle HQS, which is Vehicle Headquarters. Um, we we then when we when we went to register it, the Department of of, uh, of, of Licensing told us that we could not register it under a, a, a political organization. Um, and so we that's that's why we then registered it under, under the proxy name uh, the secretary general of COSATU just tweeted this morning and said that all COSATU cars are registered under his name um, and he was asking is this what the EFF is doing there's nothing there's nothing um, untoward there's nothing underhanded but there's this absolutely no um, uh, there's no justification to the idea that we bought the car for the president for his private use when he leaves the, the organization one he's not leaving the organization and two that car is being used by security in uh, in, uh, in, in in the EFF it, it transports and escorts our VIPs and, uh, and and some of our top six you know it's it's it's, it's a it's an organization now and so the links it being linked to a company that previously had Julius Malema's cousin Debato Malema uh, as director where do those come from or is that not the case at all no where, who we register the car with you know Kosatu registered it under under Zolino Zimbabwe why is everybody not saying oh so you know, Kosatu is buying Zolino Zimbabwe cars it's not that so who is this car registered? Uh, whose it's name is it registered? It's registered under, under, as the report says, it's registered under the company Fox Pro. Um, but that's because we just needed a company in which, you know, a proxy company in which uh, the, uh, the, the vehicle could be registered under. It's, you know, and, and, and that was available to us at the time. So, but you understand the links then to Malema's cousin, that in that, that, that company that you mentioned, yeah. is the very company that uh, Tebato Malema was a director? Well, it, 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 the, the vehicle still remains the, 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 the property of, of the EFF, and that is the case. I think, you know, who we, we could have registered under my name. We could have registered it under the SG's name. It could have been under anyone's name. So it's just sheer coincidence it's that it was sheer, registered? It, it's, it's not sheer coincidence. It's, it's because it was there at the time, and, and, uh, and, and, and that's what we, uh, we, we utilized. There's nothing underhanded about that. Okay. If, 
if someone then makes a link and says there are all these alleged underhanded dealings yes. within the EFF in as far as its funds are concerned, yes. is it coincidence? Is it a coincidence then that the Treasurer General suddenly resigns from Parliament, in fact resigns from, uh, or at least is off party or official duty so that she can go and uh, do her articles? Is there a link here between Magdalene Manzami somewhat taking a backseat from her responsibilities as Treasurer of the party because there is the suggested plundering of funds? <laughs> No, there's absolutely no link whatsoever to uh, the Treasurer General resigning from Parliament. The Treasurer General is leaving Parliament because she wants to go and do her articles uh, so that she can qualify as a full-on uh, uh, attorney. This is the reason why. She will be working full-time at, a, 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 at an attorney um, at, at a lawyer, uh, a law office, um, and obviously she can't juggle that between that and and and, uh, and, and parliament. What about her duties within the party? Her duties within the party remain. She will remain the treasurer general of the Economic Freedom Fighters. Will she be administering its funds whilst she's doing that? She will be doing all. She'll, she'll be administering all her uh, uh, her, her, her duties as. Uh, as Treasurer General, um, as, as is uh, Dalim Pofu, who is an advocate in, in his own uh, firm, but he's also the chairperson of, uh, of, of the EFF. So Magdalene Munsami is not planning to go back to the ANC anytime soon? Magdalene Munsami, uh, um, the CIC, Julius Malema, um, Commissar Floyd Shivambu, none of them are planning at any stage to leave the EFF for the African National Congress. This is the fact.